everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> a hot minute since I shopped at Boohoo. If you guys saw my first video, you might remember that things didn't go very well and I came to realise that it's called Boohoo because you just spend the entire time crying when you're trying the clothes on. Can you not? Ow! 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 What I learnt last time was that the sizing for their jeans is absolutely terrible, the fit of a lot of the dresses runs quite small and in general, a lot of the colours seem to be off too. However, me being me, I don't really learn from my mistakes. And when I saw that Boohoo was doing a collab with Paris Hilton, I couldn't help myself. I mean, not that I'm a big Paris Hilton fan as such, but when I took one look at the collection and I saw it was pink and there were unicorns, I was like... Shut up and take my money. There's a few things that I got because I was like, I really want to try that but I don't really think it's my style, but it might be some of your style, so you guys might appreciate it. Before we get into things, if you're new here, this is Archie, he's my feathered son. Yes, he's a bird. Yes, he screams. If you're going to leave a stupid comment complaining about how annoying the bird is, you were warned, so just don't leave a comment like that. Like, I'm, li I'm literally telling you right now, this bird is going to annoy you. So those are the terms and conditions of watching this video. If you uh, breach your contract and leave an annoying comment saying, this the bird is annoying me, Go away! The bird stays! What part of this do these people not understand? The bird stays. Meme review. Before I unbox anything, I'm just gonna talk about my makeup look for a second. You guys, if you don't already follow Glam by Lauren X, you gotta go do it because she is such an incredibly talented makeup artist. I actually discovered her account because she watches my videos and she did this awesome Archie inspired makeup look and I was like, damn, who is this girl? And I've been following her ever since. And she posted a makeup tutorial just last night and it was like how to do a pink eye makeup look with holographic sparkles and stuff like that and I was like oh my god that is so Paris Hilton like everything in this collection is pink and silver so I was like yes girl I'm gonna wear that look in my video but it didn't quite go as planned I mean she used holographic glitter and I don't have holographic glitter and she's talented and I'm not I kind of feel like I look a little bit stern in this video like I think the dark colors up here kind of make me look like I'm scowling so I'm, I'm sorry I, I don't think Archie likes it because he's Look at this. I honestly, it took me two hours to do this makeup. Two hours! Even though I don't like the way it makes my face look, I'm just gonna leave it on and look, my OG subscribers are gonna keep watching me even if they think I look ridiculous, so. So I got 10 pieces from this collection. There's a few things in here that I didn't really like on the model. I was like, that looks really weird. <laughs> so I don't know if it'll look okay on me. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a, a body shape or a height thing or what, but I thought some of the things looked a little bit funny. So we'll see if they look any different or if they still look weird. Look at the color of this. This is a hoodie. This is a baby pink hoodie. Here it is, it's like a cropped hoodie. It's got diamond baby written on it with two little chihuahuas. I think the fabric is very soft and I really, really like the pink. I always pull out in my wardrobe, I always say, guys, you know I like this color pink. This is my color pink. Well, this is my color pink. I really like this. I feel like the decal, oh, oh, wow. Oh, I thought that was plastic when I saw the photo, but it's actually fabric. It's kind of, it's kind of like a velvety velour kind of fabric. That's really cool. It's, it's look, I, it's probably purposefully like this, but do you see all the frayed edges? Oh, hello, yep, you, look, do you see the frayed edges? Yeah, that's, that's a bit weird, don't you think? I mean, it's probably meant to be like that, to be honest, but you know, I feel like wearing this out in public with frayed edges like that, if someone didn't know that the edges were meant to be frayed, they'd be like, oh, look at that daggy girl. Does anyone actually say, look at that daggy girl? I don't, my mum would say that actually. Well, I have removed my face makeup, removed the crazy eye look to try on the clothes because I didn't want to get anything on this stuff. So the Diamond Baby Chihuahua top, it's really cool, but it is so short. Like if I lift up my arms, it's just gonna come right up over my boobs. And also I had a bit of an issue with the hood. Like it's just, it's such a small hood. The hood is just so small that it hardly fits over my head. And actually if I have the hood on and I, I stand up straight, 
I'm not gonna show you guys, but it lifts the entire thing up over my bra. So this hood is not for wearing. The hood is just for having draped back like that. But the color is really beautiful. I love how the chihuahuas are like velour chihuahuas. It's really, really nice. It feels very, very soft. Expectation reality wise, this is awesome. I love this. So when I saw this unicorn bodysuit, I knew I had to have it. The little unicorns are glittery and they, oh, it's a very, very thick glitter. So that actually looks really good. Uh, the quality of the bodysuit, hey, heck off, heck off, heck off, heck off. So the quality of the bodysuit just feels like a very, very exceedingly average, like just like a t-shirt. It's not a swimsuit, it's 100% a bodysuit because this is just like normal fabric, like t-shirt fabric. Hang on, I had a few people asking me in the past to talk about what the fabric is, so let's see. Oh, made in the UK, what? What? I thought this stuff was made in China. Oh my goodness. 95% viscose, 5% elastane. So uh, if that means anything to any of you, that doesn't mean anything to me, but uh, to me, this is just like, T-shirt fabric. Viscose, I guess. Anyway, let's give it a go. Okay, well I've just paired this bodysuit with this skirt that I got in Japan. I really do like the unicorns. I kind of feel a little bit conflicted though because it's almost like they're drawing a lot of attention to my boobs and I don't really like to draw attention to my boobs mainly because I don't really have any boobs to draw attention to. But the unicorns are basically like nipple covers and it's like, you know, when you want to be cute but you want to be super sexy at the same time. I guess that's very Paris, right? The fit of it isn't so great. It's a little bit short and I can feel it pulling and it's quite difficult to wear a bra underneath it too. I've sort of had to wiggle around a little bit to make sure that my bra is covered. I think for my height, it's a little tiny bit short in the body and also it's a little bit transparent because there's a little bit of pulling going here. You can kind of see through and you can kind of see my bra underneath. It's got unicorns on it, so that's a huge bonus. Do you like it? Oh, okay, well I guess we're returning this one. Continuing on with the unicorn theme, I have this unicorn t-shirt. This looks very, very cute. You know, when I saw this top in the collection, I thought it was very out of place because this gives me, I don't know why, but it gives me major Care Bear vibes. This is a very young top. Like that's, that's what I get from it. I feel like this would be great for, well, I mean, look, you can't put an age on clothes. Wear it at any age that you want, but I get very like, young, fun vibes from this, and I think it's really cute. It's very tight. I would recommend sizing up in this one for sure. Luckily for me, because I'm quite flat chested, it fits okay, but I can kind of feel it constricting my breathing a little bit, especially if I stand up straight like that and kind of push my chest out. I would say maybe go one size up in this one just to accommodate this area, but other than that, this is really cute. I think it's adorable. It doesn't lift up too much when you lift your arms. I think because of how tight it is, like it doesn't go anywhere, so that's great. another bodysuit. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these bodysuits. I mean, I don't really wear them. This has a holographic unicorn on it. <laughs> so I couldn't really say no. This is again the viscose and elastane one, same as the other one. This is pretty cool. I like this. I think this is very cute. Well, upon closer inspection, this is actually a pegasus. It is not a unicorn. So if you consult fantastic beasts and where to find them, you'll see that you can actually find pegasus in Beverly Hills. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? This is really cute. I really like this one, but like I said, the two bodysuits, they're very, very thin. And I'm a little bit concerned about how much wear I would actually get out of them, just because of how thin they are and the fact that they're a little bit short for my torso and it pulls down. Oh, I'm just so torn. Do I keep it? Do I not keep it? I'm tempted to send both of them back, which is devastating for me because one has unicorns on it and one has a holographic pegasus. I mean, that's epic. So I, I just don't know. Oh, maybe, maybe this is one of those things that I'll just hang on to just on the off chance that I'll use it at some point. Maybe. I mean, 
mean, that's kind of how I'm such a hoarder in the first place because half the things in this damn apartment I have because I think I'll use them one day. No, I don't. Next up is something very, very different. It's like nothing else that I've purchased from this collection. This colour doesn't look anywhere near what I thought it was. In the pictures, I thought that it looked a little bit more like a buttercup yellow. This is a maxi dress, like a very, very, very maximum dress. Like it's very, very long. <laughs> I kind of feel like some of these websites, what they do is they get the models to pose in such a way that you almost can't quite tell what the design is. Because in the photo, I was like, what, is, what does it look like? I mean, they do show pictures from different angles, but I just couldn't quite get an exact idea in my head of what this was supposed to look like. This is very, very heavy. It's stretchy. It's not green. Sorry. I'm not so sure what I think of this. It's nice. The colour isn't exactly what I thought that it was going to be. I'm not such a fan of these lacy details here. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how I was going to do it up because you definitely can't wear it with a bra and these lace... This lacy stuff is quite stretchy so it was kind of like hanging open a bit and then you got to tighten it up and wiggle around and... I guess it's really, really bougie, I can say that much. Does kind of feel like 2000s red carpet kind of vibes. These bits do kind of make me feel a bit like a chicken, you know, like with wings hanging off my shoulders. I think it's cool. I don't really think that it was worth the money. I'm not such a fan of the fact that you can see my undies. I mean, yes, you can just wear nude undies. That's totally fine. But I don't know. I just have such a pet peeve with fabrics being too thin. It just really annoys me. It's quite heavy. And you would think that heavy fabric would be thicker, but it's not. I don't know, this dress really confuses me. I do feel like this would be really, really good for like a beach holiday or something. Like if you were going away for the summer on holidays and you, you wanted some sort of like really nice fancy outfit to wear at your resort or something, I feel like this would be really nice. It's that sort of fabric that definitely won't crease. Like I feel like no matter how much I kind of bunch this up, it's not going to crease on me. So these sort of things are really, really good for travel. So yeah, you know, this is not, not too bad, but I do think it was a little tiny bit pricey for what it is. But hey, that's, that's up to you. If you like it, then I reckon go for it. Okay, <laughs> the next thing, I actually thought this looked quite ridiculous on the website. So this doesn't come as a set, but it is a three-piece set. So it starts off with some shorts. There's the shorts. They look like little tiny booty shorts, like booty booty shorts. They've got this little design up the side that Paris has with the two chihuahuas. And it, hey, stop it. You know what, you can just stay there. Look, you got yourself in this predicament, you can get yourself out of it. It kind of reminds me of that design that I often see Tana Monjo, Mojo, Mongo, Mongo wearing. And it's like two, I think it's two women back to back with their legs out. That kind of reminds me of this. It's two chihuahuas. There's also this funny bra. Maybe it's some sort of 2000s throwback. Ah. Should... Hey, can you stop climbing Mount Pastel? Come down. Was that a fun adventure? So there's this. Now, you, you'll see what I mean. Like, look at these pictures. It just, the bra just doesn't quite look right with that funny design. But anyway, I thought I'd buy it and try it. And then the last part of this set is like a hoodie kind of thing, but it's one of those like severely cropped hoodies, like very, very cropped in the front so that you can see the bra thing underneath. It's also got the chihuahuas on it on the sleeves. Okay, I do like this, but I'm not gonna get anywhere out of it at all. The bra is actually incredibly comfortable. Like, it's stupidly comfortable, <laughs> but the shorts, Look, the waist is not quite fitting me right. They're also very, very short. And I just can't imagine where I'd ever wear this. Like, what occasion would I ever have to wear this? I don't work out. And I can't think of any other reason that I'd want to wear like a sporty bra and shorts unless I was working out. So yeah, maybe some of you guys would like this. It is really cool. Like, you can't deny, look. It's so extra and it's very Paris. Like, it's really cool, but not really my sort of thing. 
but I'll show it to you guys with the rest of it. It's a little tiny bit scratchy, like it's not very soft, I can tell you that much, but very sporty, kind of luxurious, like very Paris Hilton. I can see why this set is in her collection for sure, but it's, it's not my kind of look, and I definitely can't imagine where I would ever wear this, so this one is going back. And the last thing from this collection, that this wasn't in the original launch, there... I refreshed the page a couple of times and then it appeared at the bottom and it's a velour tracksuit. This is the top and it's covered in That's Hot with the Chihuahua. The colour is so cute, this is such a nice shade of pink and it's velour and it feels really nice. So here are the pants. Now I don't know how the cut will look on me and the length doesn't seem like it's going to be quite long enough for me. I'm about five foot nine. I feel like these will run a tiny little bit short on me, but I do love the colour. I like the design. Here's the sequence on the sides. I think that's really, really cool too. Oh, I just noticed the top also has that sequence on the side. Okay, well, I think this is one of the most Paris Hilton things that I've ever tried on. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. The colour is amazing, the velvet, kind of like velour fabric is amazing, but I think the design is so unflattering. I really like to wear pants kind of like higher on the hip, but as soon as you do that, it creates this like terrible, terrible camel toe kind of thing here. So you definitely have to wear it down, but then if you wear it down a bit further, then it kind of gives you muffin tops and uh, so either size up in this one, but then even if you size up like it's the, the pants are purposefully shorter Like they're not short on me because I'm tall. They're just purposefully cut off a little bit awkwardly short So I don't really like the pants at all, but the top is cool I definitely like the height that it's being cropped to and I like the length of the sleeves And it doesn't lift up when you lift your arms because it's quite tight so it's a really nice top, but I absolutely hate these pants. And then I kind of feel like I would just return the whole set because it's like, what's the point of having the top if I'm not gonna wear the pants? I don't know, I'm just a little bit funny like that. That's just, am I being stupid? <laughs> I guess so. But yeah, anyway, what do you think? Should I keep the top and return the pants or just return the whole thing? Because I really, really don't like this as a set. I knew it, like when I saw it on the model, I was like, eh. Like I just, I didn't think it was quite right when I saw it on her. And now that I'm wearing it, yeah, no, I don't think it's right. <laughs> it is the most extra tracksuit kind of thing I've ever worn though. So uh, points for being extra, points for being pink, points for having two hours on it, that's kind of cool too. But yeah, nah, not really my thing. Alright guys, well that's everything. I hope that you liked it. Please let me know down below what your favourite items were. As always, I really, really appreciate your help if you can let me know what you think I should keep and what I should return, because I'm not very good at styling myself. Like, a lot of the time I'll see something and I'll think that it looks terrible, but then you guys will say it looks good, and then I'll think it looks good, and the comment section is like, girl, <laughs> throw that in the trash. So, I always really appreciate your opinions. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram and, uh, Archie's Instagram too. If you like this video, maybe subscribe. We have a lot of other haul videos coming out soon. Yeah, and okay, we'll do a haul for you, I promise. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! What you doing? Is this a fun video? Are you having fun? Can I have a kiss? Archie, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss.